American President Vladimir Putin is visiting China for the fourth conference on international confidence building measures for Asia. On Tuesday, he met with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The two leaders vowed to enhance bilateral ties and boost economic cooperation. They also attended a ceremony that kicked off China-Russia joint naval exercises. Let's go back to Beijing and CCTV's Li Chiyuan. Uh, she has more on China-Russia relations. Mike President Xi and President Putin held talks in Shanghai. It's Mr. Putin's first visit to China since Xi took office last year. And after the meeting, they issued a joint statement that said their two countries will expand local currency settlements for bilateral trade, cross-border investment and financing, and will strengthen exchanges for the formulation of macroeconomic policies. Now, the two leaders pledged to increase bilateral trade to $100 billion by 2015 and $200 billion by 2020. Ambitious goals uh, among all this economic cooperation and natural gas deal, of course, has caught much of the attention. Where do we stand in terms of progress on that? Well, the deal is still pending despite of progress claim in the protracted negotiations. Now, China's Sinopec and Russia's Gazprom signed the framework last year to import natural gas through an eastern route of a China-Russia natural gas pipeline from Siberia. It would carry 38 billion cubic meters of natural gas annually from 2018. And besides economic and trade cooperation, the two countries also started the Joint Sea 2014 China and Russia naval drill. And all the participating vessels are heading to the exercise area in the East China Sea. Now, two previous naval exercises were held in 2012 and 2013. And as an important part of cooperation between the two militaries, this year's exercise will show the sides resolve in responding to threats and challenges, as well as safeguarding regional security and stability. Mike. Now, President Xi and Putin, they're dominating the headlines there in Beijing. All eyes seem to be on them. But can you tell us more about this summit itself? Sure, Mike. This year, nearly 40 countries and international organizations are attending the meeting. Now, China will be taking over the presidency for the next two years. And Qatar and Bangladesh signed accession agreements on Tuesday to become new members of SICA. Now, the two nations were previously observers, and their accession to SICA has brought the total number of member states to 26. Now, the SICA summit will hold its first session on Wednesday morning, and Chinese President Xi Jinping will deliver a keynote speech explaining China's stance on security in Asia and the future development of the forum. He will also call on regional leaders to join hands in dealing with regional security threats and challenges. And CCTV News will have a special coverage of the SICA summit starting at 8.30 a.m. Beijing time or 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss it. All Back right. to you, Mike. Thanks so much.